here. <laughs> Hey, we are super excited to bring this video to you. I have one request. If you have not subscribed, please right now, hit pause, subscribe, or better yet, I'll even wait. How long? Um, okay, you should have found it by now. So this video, Typically, the Camp Benny videos, no problem to get 30,000 viewers plus, which awesome. I truly appreciate, but we have about 5,000 subscribers. So, please, if you would, subscribe. Go ahead and watch it. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you had a fantastic season. And uh, we just appreciate everybody watching, all the kind comments, likes, all that kind of feedback. We really appreciate it. Guys, this makes it a lot of fun for us. Take care. Got everything packed? Oh yeah. Ready to roll? Oh yeah. You got your gun? Oh yeah. Got your ammo? Yep. Got I'm not like Nick, you know, I don't forget that stuff, so. Oh. Got your tags? Yes, I do. <laughs> gotcha. Got all that good stuff? Got it all. Ammo, licenses, gun, hunting clothes. Yep. Same. Awesome. Let's hop on the road, gentlemen. Good morning. It is Friday, November 25th, morning after Thanksgiving. And we are pumped. In fact, we are super excited about going up to Buddy Dean's Deer Camp for a long weekend hunt. Mm -hmm. Almost uh, through the end of gun season. Uh, we'll be coming home Tuesday.
rifle that you bought with your own hard-earned money, right? Awesome. for you not for them is you can shoot whatever you want okay our camp rule is first buck you take whatever you want so the rest of you are three up <laughs> the side, so. you better show them what you mean yeah because it's confusing <laughs> yeah pick them out you know for old women no, I'm I'm right. Right. <laughs> so basically what we're looking for is an eight point so this something like this so you're looking for something with three points here. If it's got a bra tine or it yep. doesn't. Yeah, there you go. There okay. You go. Has to be at least so three. it can be like this it, without the cobwebs. <laughs> it can be like this and don't worry if it's got bra tines, but make sure it's got three. like these three, at least on one side. Okay. Three main. Um, so that'll give you, and like I said, you don't have to worry about that. Now, do you have a, do you have a, a combination tag or a single tag? Combination. Combination. Okay, yeah. then yours has to have at least three points on one side, so it doesn't matter if it's a bra tie and two or whatever. Okay. Where you're going to sit tonight, you shouldn't have that problem. There's several there. I'm uh, hoping to, categories. just because he's going to be on an apprentice tag, basically. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping ha hoping to have him sit with me okay. at least some of the time. So, mm -hmm. well, maybe tonight that'd be a good idea. Then I, they, they're not going to both get in burns though. Maybe switch around and put them in the berry patch. Yeah. Put Ben at White Birch, and then Benny on the back, on the back pasture, and uh, and then see how it works out, and then then we'll go from there. So you don't have to carry that. With the you don't have to carry that. I mean, designated skull holder. Just seeing you know, for once he gets his buck, he has to turn this way. Turn this way. You need that practice for the camera. That's right. Just the camera away. <laughs> so we'll leave, we'll leave the con uh, condo tonight then. Yeah. Luckily, we're, you're in a blind, so you got a lot of grace. <laughs> where, are you, where are you hunting tonight? Uh, somewhere in a blind. I was about to say, you're going to look up at that deer like, I'm thinking about you. Oh, yeah. So hopefully a deer like that big comes in. But I'll probably be uh, buck fever galore. Where am I? Mm-hmm. You know, Escanaba in the moonlight, I'll be like that. 
by practice, so I should be okay. Um, you know where you're hunting yet? I don't. Okay. Uh, all I know is uh, Dean said he's taking me out, so Ooh. I get to go at Dean first. Beautiful man. Yeah, uh, I don't know anything about the location. Okay. I don't. They said it, but I don't know where. I don't remember. Well, Brian, it was nice knowing you. Box blind somewhere. Box blind somewhere. Okay. Friday the 25th, day after Thanksgiving, first hunt, evening hunt. Ben and I are each running out to our stands, hoping for some bucks tonight. Yeah, baby. We'll see what happens. You excited? Super excited. Let's do it. go. Tonight it's the uh, 300 win mag and me out hoping for a nice buck. Four on a side. At least. If it's five on a side. Perfect. Four on a side. Perfect. Yeah. Let's see, uh, let's see some deer sign right away. So yeah, super excited about this hunt. I'm uh, about this part of the UP because there's plenty of farming. It reminds me a little bit of back home. Kind of got a corn belt. So super excited about this evening hunt. I got a swamp around me and a cut cornfield. So uh, hoping for good things. And a nice set, enjoying uh, God's creation here. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned. What's the age difference? Brody, how old are you? 22. Okay. Yeah, just turn over there. Yeah. 50 yards. For real. There it's it was nuts. Hey Nick, the good thing is the buck that was out there chasing is not the buck that was on this back 65 last night. <clears throat> no? No, because he's at back 65 is right, he there now. right now. <laughs> is he there? No. I wanna see. No, he's not huge, he's just a nice three-year-old buck, he's got a big thick head and he's got a hole in his or a scar on his uh, hind quarter. <laughs> My range fighter was saying this. He's 300. He's like, no man, to that fence, it's only 250. He's like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs>
How far away was it? I just want to matter. I couldn't get him to stop. We have electricity. I'm sorry. Can you believe it? Like so much. It's like a resort. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie and I had a cool opportunity years ago. He was part of the Michigan uh, youth long range team, Ooh. and they got uh, sponsors on, so they could buy more they want. Morning. Uh, yeah, After your hunt, go your first hunt uh, yesterday. So, it went really good. I saw 11, uh, right at dark, I saw a pretty big bodied buck. Uh, antlers came outside of the ears, but I couldn't determine how big it was. Um, and then Nick and I had him running back and forth grunting for probably another 45 minutes after dark uh, as we waited to get in the truck, probably 100 yards from us. Uh, so that was pretty cool. So hoping that he comes back this morning and gives me an opportunity. So awesome, good I, luck. I'm Thank not you. I'm a huge Springfield Armory fan, frankly. I mean, not Springfield, I'm a 1911 fan. Yeah. Was, they, they were great the day with so much better technology today. But the nostalgia, what, uh, what you know, did you see on your first hunt yesterday? Anything? Um, I saw some black cat chickadees, some blue jays. Um, I saw a squirrel. And uh, I was looking at my phone because I was getting a bunch of texts from other guys. I'm seeing stuff and I'll see my peripheral something moving. I was like, oh, there's something moving. And then I look and I'm like, oh, it's a squirrel. Okay. <laughs> and then right when it was dark, it was, I could just barely see a deer walking by. And it looked like it had a pretty big body. So if it just stays there when it's shooting light, that'd be pretty cool. So. Good luck to you this morning. Yeah, you too. But he's a good guy, kind of. And he, uh. Good so, so he bought the whole works. He paid almost three grand by the time he was done buying everything. Because then he bought a big case of 45 ammo. He said, So I'm going to the range right now to shoot this. That's what he did. No. So instead of going to Florida, I'm buying this. That's awesome. Yeah, when he told me that deal, I mean, I literally, I walked upstairs, said, Brody, let's go. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? We got about 15 minutes, guys.
Alrighty, well, Saturday afternoon, and it is warm, unseasonably warm. Truck clock, or truck temp says it's 60 degrees out. I'm following uh, Micah right now, he's be dropping Brian off over at his hunt spot, uh, spot we call Condo. And I'm going to be sitting in a new stand tonight. Uh, new to me, anyways. Uh, super excited. Uh, stand seems like a, a good spot for the, considering the winds that are going on. Uh, tomorrow it's supposed to switch back out of the north and get a little bit cooler weather coming in, hopefully. Uh, it's not going to get terribly cold, but we might gain. Uh, well, being 60 now, it's probably going to be you know, in the 30s, 20s for the lows at least, so that's a lot better than this weather. So, hoping for good things this evening. Hoping for something with four on the side. Not gonna be too terribly picky. Just looking for a, a good legal four on a side buck. So, let's see what happens. Stay tuned. from Ben. 
shot. Looks like it went about 40 yards. Good job, Ben. Nice buck. here young man my first solo buck I got all by myself I was telling uh, Dean once I got it that it's a little different from the youth hunt <laughs> where your dad's right there coaching you but now I'm there all by myself I'm like okay I gotta remember what my dad told me so and I've done some stand time and solo hunts I believe I did some last year, or whenever I went up to camp last. I've done one or two and stuff and been hunting behind the house, so getting that exposure of watching deer and um, watching how they and reenact. Nice. So yeah. tell us just real quick, uh, just quick story on this, this whole occurrence, this hunt. Basically, uh, there's does that were hanging around, and then one went away, and one stayed around. She kept on looking back over her shoulder, and um, about an hour, three minutes later, this guy comes walking in, and then um, yeah, I watch him because obviously my heart was beating on my chest, and you can't really shoot with outside nerves. So he was walking, I finally got a good shot, and it came together. Ran probably 100 yards and wiped 40. out. Yep. Dirt nap. Nice. Double longer, great shot. The 450 mm -hmm. Bushmaster. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh, grab it up so his head doesn't bang down. Perfect. Just like that. <laughs> Hold him there for a second. <laughs> You're like, get that out of here. <laughs> you know what? November 27, uh, evening on here in Menominee County, Michigan. Uh, super excited. This is uh, day three and uh, my fifth hunt. Uh, open for a nice buck this evening. Uh, we know that there's still an eight point running around here that has a big hole on its back.
just uh, you know either out of range or ran out of shooting light you know just different things Ben Jr. of course got his buck this morning that was outstanding made, made my trip honestly so yeah uh, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon just getting settled in here we'll see what happens stay tuned So it's November 27, um, up here at our buddy Dean's camp. Uh, I was out for the evening hunt and um, haven't seen any bucks during the day while I've been hunting this week. Um, and then maybe about a half hour before dark, this boy came chugging along, um, kind of looking around. He was curious and he came and jumped out in front of me about 100 yards. Uh, hammered him. He was quartered towards me, so I got a little bit of a, a little bit of an angled shot. Nicked his guts, but still got him. He went about 100 yards and watched him drop. So, yeah, it was all good. Awesome job, Brody. Thank you. Five point down, unit 122. Nice work. Thank you. Carry that gut bucket. Maybe somebody's already covered in blood. Yeah, that would be Those years of bucks. Wonderful day. Uh, thank you that you could bless us with two beautiful harvests. Thank you for keeping us all safe. Um, I pray that you'll bless our hunts tomorrow. You'll keep us safe in our travels back home on Tuesday. And you'll keep our loved ones safe at home. And that we'll be returning them safely. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. <coughs> Here we are, we're back in the UP of Michigan, Menominee County, with our good buddy Dean Hulse. Okay, good morning, it's uh, November 28th. This is uh, day four of our hunt, also the last day. Uh, this is my sixth hunt. I mean, my cat made uh, smoked chickens the other day, so mm -hmm. we decided to make soup from it. There's fresh coffee, there's...
Meh. Nice. Did I get it? You hit it. Did I? I think so. Dude. Bag it? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Good job, boys. Jesus, Mark. That's awesome. Let's go. Yes. <sighs> Man, I'll forget it for a second. <laughs> Did you close your eyes? <laughs> I just, I don't know. I couldn't tell. I was like, I pulled the trick when it was dead on. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome, dude. Sweet. So, Doug, what just happened? Yeah. First doe kill ever. Never been hunting before. First time actually out for an entire weekend, so. Been a fantastic experience. Holy cow. It's so exciting. <laughs> so, we'll go see what this thing is and, uh, Get home and get ready for the freezer. Yeah, it is 416 on November 28th. Doug just got his first deer ever. It's so exciting. Yeah. So I had some pretty good teachers this weekend, so it's been awesome. We'll give her a good solid 10, 15 minutes and then we'll go down there. But we saw her drop about 150 yards out. So yeah. give me a chance to decompress a little bit. <laughs> shake it out. <laughs> I was going to say, I could hear your breathing changed once you changed into, I'm going to kill this mode. like, which <laughs> <laughs> is weird because I was concentrating so hard and just like, easy breaths, squeeze and pull. That's right. We'll get back at you. up to it, kind of poke it with a gun just to make sure it's dead. Good job, Doug. Oh, entry's right behind the shoulder. Nice job. That's awesome. Doug, congrats on your first deer ever. Thank you. Perfect. Wild. I love it. Could you uh, maybe just quick take a minute and share the story on this uh, <laughs> sure. door of yours? So, saw it coming around 3.30. Uh, I've been hunting this stand all weekend, so I was kind of like, ah, I feel like I can get something else closer to uh, sunset. Watched it, watched it walk off. I was like, could have, could have showed a what up. So Roy's like, well, you know, let's <laughs> let's pray. If that was the one that we need to come back, then it'll it'll walk back. And what? 20 minutes later, 15 minutes later, something like that. Uh, the fawn it was with came back out, and then all of a sudden this came out. And Roy's like, you're taking this. I'm like, yep, yes I am. <laughs> <laughs> so shot about probably 50 yards uh, from the stand, and then ran for probably 100. Got the wobbles and dropped. So, held it back here and 
Yeah? 7mm 08. So, new to the whole hunting thing, borrowing some weapons for this, so just, I've never had the opportunity looking to get into it, so it's been quite the adventure this weekend for sure. Yeah. What do you what do you think now that you squeezed the trigger and, and got your first deer? What's what's kind of some thoughts running through your mind? Well, my heart has finally started to slow down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, I enjoyed it. The whole experience was just fun. Um, if nothing else, it's just really cool to be able to sit out here, you know, watch the sunrise, watch the sunset, look at the beautiful colors. So if nothing else, it's just been a, a beautiful weekend. But able to top this off the last thing that was kind of the icing on the cake for me so it's really cool yeah congrats on your first deer that's fantastic <laughs> oh yeah nice good job thank you you had your brother-in-law with you in the blind heck yes yeah Brody was got to see the kill and uh, my father-in-law Chris uh, was kind of guiding me watching me and just kind of showing hey look for this look for that here's some stuff you need to know Yep. So between them, I feel pretty ready to start this up on my own again soon. So, but yeah, good Fan stuff this weekend. Fantastic. All right, let's get her out of here. Just kind of keep working on the sides, back, and going through his way back up there. Mm -hmm. What was there? Really? Perfect. Nice job. Sure you haven't done this before? I mean, <laughs> I'm used to a knife, but in terms of yep. cutting, know where to cut, where not to cut, i not a clue. Yep. So yeah, just keep kind of working that back. So did you guys have fun this week, huh? Yeah. Had Definitely. A blast. This is fantastic. Yeah, I could do this again one of these days, huh? Uh, next weekend. <laughs> right? Sounds good to me. Yeah. No, for being my first hunting experience, this has been incredible. This is awesome. That's awesome. I, th I think the world's gained a new hunter. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's fantastic. Cool. Brian, you have fun this week? I had so much fun. That's fantastic. Yep. Hey, what? you have fun this weekend? Yeah. You got yourself your first Big Woods buck? Uh-huh. Sitting all by yourself. Okay, How yeah. cool is that, huh? It's pretty neat. Open <laughs> Oh, that's my cue. Hold on. This is a cable. The one that lifts up. All right. Well, this is a wrap of the 2022 <laughs> firearm season up at Dean's Deer Camp. Uh, as you've seen, we had some success again, which was fantastic. A uh, couple of us going home without uh, deer, but that's just fine. Uh, so stay safe. Hope everybody had a, a great season. And uh, good luck with what's left of it. See ya! Peace out.